damn truck. <laughs> Previously on Just Dex. And one of my lights on my dash then came on. And that's like the last thing you want to see on a new truck, especially in the first week that you didn't got it. That's the last thing I want to see. Just a quick little update. This is sad, but my check engine light is still on. I don't know what I thought was going to happen, but the truck is running fine. And y'all that drive semis or drive really any vehicle, y'all already know how sensitive they are, how much technology is involved in the trucks and vehicles. It's not. It's no longer just like simple machinery. It'd be a lot of other excess stuff going on. So I'm praying and hoping, hoping and praying, however you want to put it. I'm really thinking that this is just like a, maybe a sensor went out or something like that. You too. I had to stop that video right there, bro. I ain't even switched to the big camera. I'm literally sitting there editing. But bro, I should've just shut my mouth. I should've just shut my mouth because I ain't gonna say I jinxed it. I don't believe in nothing like that, but like, I'm sitting there talking about it, thinking like it's gonna work itself out and it's probably nothing, it's just this and that. Y'all, I'm gonna let y'all just go ahead and watch the video. I don't wanna spoil it for y'all, but just know, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about and I need to learn how to be quiet, bro. And you know what I'm saying? But this all a part of the process. I'm gonna show y'all the good days and the bad days. So that's what we're doing, showing you the good days and the bad days. Like, I don't smell anything, I'm not riding rough. There's no change has happened with the light. Like, I feel like hopefully I would have, there would have been more signs than just, you know what I mean? I was just listening to um, Slime Pack. If y'all don't watch her, bro, please watch her. I feel like her content is just how easy it is to watch it. That'd be my goal. Like, I aspire to be like her so in so many different ways. Like, like my dreams with this is like, that is entertaining to people that don't have any interest in trucking. But a lot of that'll come over time. I know I gotta get Welcome used to talking. To this, I'm gonna be a beast with this. I just need a little time. That's all, I just need a little time. But yeah, if you're watching and listening to me have this little vent moment <laughs> and talking to nobody, really just put my thoughts out there. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching me do what I do. Make my money, man. Ride my truck. I love this truck, y'all. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. I really love this truck. The position that Prime has been able to put me in, I love my life. And I can remember a time where like I didn't feel like this. Yeah, uh, Trucker Path is taking me a little bit more north and then we gonna head east. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with this GoPro. I need it to last a little bit longer though. I already wanna upgrade to the uh, 12 just because the quality is better on that one, but I need this one to last a little bit longer. Golly. We about to go in the um, truck stop though and tell them I need fuel out here. Uh, let's see if we need reefer fuel too. I might get some Popeyes too, y'all. I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to. Whew. All right, our reefer fuel is at half a tank. We might as well fill that up too. We need 70 gallons. We out here on pump number 17. Pump number 17. I need 70 gallons and I need reefer fuel. Out here in Marshall, Illinois. We're gonna take this off so that I don't embarrass myself. Can I go out here? Yeah. It'll let me. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have did all this at the uh, pump. I ain't even try. But if it's not a TA, a Luz, or a Pilot Flying J, I'm going inside every time. 70 gallons. That's about 35 on each side. All right. It should be in good shape. All right. What's up, y'all? We are currently. 30 miles away from my O2. This load got like three stops. Yeah, O2, O3. Yeah, it got three stops. So this is just one of three. Say we only like uh, 40 minutes out. My clock's still good. I got four hours and 40 minutes on it. So I'm still in pretty good shape. Uh, even if tomorrow, like when I get up and do my delivery, Assuming that they ready for me on time at the 5 a.m. or whatever, I could easily use a split 
and then run my um run myself back down. I needed y'all to see this, y'all. I got my brights on so that I could see a little bit better. But this whole road, like the last 10 miles, have been like this, y'all. Like a roller coaster, bro. Like literally, I'll be coming up on these little hills and dips. Like I can't see nothing on the other side of that. It's making me, I'm going 10 under the speed limit right now just to be safe, but yeah, this is crazy. Then it was like a ghost town. Like it was so creepy looking. I didn't even get to see that part. See, they was like way bigger, deeper dips than this. Bro. This just give me a bad vibe. Like I feel like wherever I'm about to deliver this to is gonna be so hell. <laughs> Cause why do I have to go on the side road to get there? Red flag. Oh, woo! That scared me so bad, y'all. I got on my brakes immediately. Like this dip ain't about to surprise me. Like this is crazy. Twin, this is crazy. Maybe I'm being dramatic. I know some of y'all like better drivers than me are gonna be like, but that ain't nothing. And I didn't deal with all kind of crazy weather and like, I didn't seen a lot, but it's just the fact that I'm on the side road, I'm already nervous. Cause I'm like, I got this big old truck with my tandems all the way back. But like, you feel me? Like y'all seen them raccoons, bro? <laughs> I just want to get to my 90, bro. Not my 90, but my 02. I just want to get to the 02, bro. So forgive me for this, because I know I keep interrupting the video, but hear me out. I didn't record everything I thought I did. I'm gonna put the clip up. It's probably playing right now over me talking, but I recorded it in the wrong mode on my camera like an idiot. And because of that, when I got ready to edit it, it didn't record any audio. So I couldn't even fast forward it and like fix my audio like I wanted to. Instead, I'm gonna have to interrupt it and let y'all know what happened. So. I went to my uh, first delivery fine. I was tired or whatever. When I went to my second delivery, I was also tired, but I had enough time to take a nap. They took forever to unload me. They took like three hours to unload me, right? So when I got done paying my lumper, I reached out to my roadside and I'm like, yo, my check engine light been on. I was like, uh, the truck is running fine. It's a small little knock out here, but it's really like nothing too major going on that I can tell. Should I finish out this? Cause I know I should go to a dealership. My check engine light on and I hear a knock. I'm already knowing that sounds horrible, but I'm like, should I? go ahead and finish this load and then go to a dealership or not a dealership but a service or you know do you think it's urgent enough he like let me pull the codes so bro pull the codes and find out that i have what you see on the screen right here right uh cylinder six misfire so we chopping it up about that real quick and i'm like um basically we conclude that the truck needs to immediately go to the shop not like it won't make it to the shop where i need a tow truck but it's no time to be playing right so i'm like okay cool I get in touch with my dispatch. His name is Mark. I'm a, I don't care if y'all know him. My dispatch name is Mark. He's great. He finds me a 
repower the repower comes and that's what we pick back up we're recording the way that i wanted to record so y'all bear with me i'm sorry i know this video is all over the place i'm trying to get better with my like storytelling but y'all just don't have to follow along for this one because it's important all right y'all hopefully y'all can hear me but like i said i just seen my repower he just passed me up so i know he's on the way we're gonna go ahead and try to get it uh get my landing gear and stuff drop for him get my lock removed little stuff like that i like to do as soon as i think about it just so i don't forget because i got enough experiences forgetting stuff i'm a super forgetful person a lot of people probably wouldn't believe i drive trucks bro i forget everything all right let's get this lock and throw the new seal on here for the stop that he's about to be headed to gonna let the devil win y'all not today he might give me one day but it ain't gonna be today he's gonna do it harder than that I'm just gonna put them right there just because I'm about to pull right up off of this uh, let me get the correct seal on there for him yeah, he a cool dude, y'all. That make me feel better. I like when good people win. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's weird. Like, why do I care? But I do. Uh, so the next stop was going to be Cincinnati and then West Virginia. And the seal on the Cincinnati one was... That... 79 number 0079 yep all right so we're gonna throw this seal on there and get this paperwork ready for him so that he's all good to go so it's the west virginia one let me just make sure i'm not tripping so i was going from here yeah i had two more stops so two more seals. So we're gonna put these together for him. All this is going to him. Let me put it up there. All right, we'll go put the seal on there. Mud sucks. So we all sealed up. All he got to do is put a lock on there and he'll be good. I need a truck wash. If it wasn't broke down, I swear I'll go get a truck wash. How you doing? I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> that was good. He smiled and everything. I ain't gonna lie y'all, when you out here for so long, I know y'all can relate to some of y'all. It's like, you get dehumanized. Like, you, you don't interact with people a lot and stuff. You become like a hermit a little bit. But it's like a little stuff like that, I swear. It will make my day for like hours. Like, just that somebody was willing to speak and he had a smile on his face. That's like, I'm happy. I hope he has a good day. <laughs> I'm gonna 
gonna go grab his paperwork. It sounds like he putting down his uh, landing gear real quick. I don't want to be in his way. I'm gonna grab his paperwork real quick. Uh. All right, all this is for him. Better out of an empty. We got a 21 trailer at least. That's one good thing we upgraded on trailers. <laughs> We're from the 2020 to the 2021. What's up, boss? What's going, man? How you doing? Oh, uh, pretty good. How you doing, bro? I'm all right. That damn truck. <laughs> Have any issues with it? Just got it. Just got oh, it. Really? I'm about to get in one in like two and a half weeks. So. What you getting? Peterbilt. Pete? Yeah. yeah. I was like, man, you know, I was gonna get another freight. Uh -huh. I was like, why not? Yeah, I went through. I went through two Pete. I mean, two uh, freight liners. Like, I trained in one, then I drove one, completed a lease and all that. Yeah, I ain't never had no issue. Except yeah. like one little electrical issue, but uh -huh. it was a good people, truck. It yeah. was a good truck. Yeah, people like, oh, the 2024s, the 23, all not pay all that, uh -huh. ain't all that bad. So right. I was like, oh man. My trainer was in a right when they started like doing the ultra law. He had uh -huh. gotten one and uh -huh. gotten like the, in the new ultra law back in like uh like in, the end of 2020. Uh -huh. And I was like, man, this thing fucking rods so good. You know? <laughs> I swear so, it does, bro. Even right now, like it's up right now and even now it's like it's so smooth bro yeah. and all the space on the inside and all that yeah, yeah. i'm still not mad at it it's like yeah. but i the fact that i just got it that's scaring me because it's like what i do like two loads two loads yeah. and already it's like a cylinder misfires swear to god bro i'm like what the f <laughs> man i was like hell with this with this it's like three thousand dollars to get the extra um you know chip for the suspension to make it ride like that uh -huh. uh, I was like, man, that ain't bad. Yeah, you know, I was like, man, I just, I just ordered me, ordered me one, uh -huh. little extras in it, tank heater, whatnot. Yeah, it's worth it, bro. Yeah, it's worth it. That's, a, it's a nice ass truck. Like, yeah, hell yeah. I was getting tired of driving, honestly. I mean, but hell as soon as I got in that shit, I said, yeah, I could do it for another couple years. Yeah, I, that's I, what, I like I was the like, truck. I tell my brother, I'm like, you know what, I might be in that heat for a few months, and then. Uh -huh. It's good to have a loud, but, you know, yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's exactly uh -huh. what I was thinking about doing, but hell, yeah, right. once you get in it. As soon as you get in it, yeah. I swear, bro. Man, Where like, you from? Louisiana. Louisiana, okay. Where you from? Georgia. I'm from oh, Georgia, okay. yep. I figured yeah. you're from somewhere around there. Yeah. Got some bills for you, though. Cool. That's your uh, second seal after you go to that first stop. When you go to West Virginia, that one goes on there. Cool. And then those last few sheets, I don't know what the f they are. They just gave them to me. Locked onto that kingpin.
Everything's looking good, y'all. It's nice and clean in there. The tire's in good shape. Yeah, we should be good to go. Only thing that's not passing the pre-trip is the truck. Everything else looks good. <laughs> 